Hi, I'm Rosie. This is my second haul video. Today I'm going to be doing items that I bought in my recent trip to Edinburgh and some things I got off eBay recently. Um, thank you to everyone who subscribed after my last video and I hope people will like this one too. I'll start off with the things I got in Edinburgh. Firstly we went to some vintage shops and I got this blue vintage jumper with like a flower sort of design on the front. Um, I've been wanting a pastel sort of coloured vintage jumper for a while and I really liked this one. This was £10 in a vintage shop called Godiva. I also got this Christmas shirt blouse thing. It has like a pussy bow at the neck. And I'm going to save that up to wear around Christmas time because of the colours. It's got a small rip under the arm here, but it's just along the seams, so I'll be able to fix that. So that made we get a little discount on it, so that was £12 something for the shirt. Then in a different shop called, I think called Herbert Browns, um, I got this brown leather bag. The brand is called OK Sack, which I thought was quite funny. And then inside, it has all different pockets and compartments, which is handy for carrying all your stuff. It doesn't have a long crossbody strap, but it does have these little metal points where you could hook one onto. So I'm going to either make it a long strap out of ribbons or try and buy like a leather strap that can clip onto it there. That was £12 I think, about £12 anyway. And then in this discount store I got these snakeskin print leggings for £5. Just show you them close up. Um, I thought they might be a bit chavvy but I actually really like them once they were on. And in that store, if you got anything, you got something else free. So I just got a plain black vest top free because they're handy to have to wear under things. I also got this school bracelet for a pound in the same shop. I'll try and show you it. It has little skulls and then little Turkish eyes as well. If you can see there, all different coloured skulls. It's really cute. We also went to a few charity shops and I got these things. I got this friendship bracelet with like a flower made out of real shells. That was 50 pence and I'm going to give that to one of my friends for Christmas because she likes things made out of like shells and bamboo and stuff like that. And it was only 50 pence so I thought it would be good. I also got some more of these silly bands. These ones are animal shapes and they were 50 pence as well. They used to be 350 so that was good. I haven't opened them yet because I've already got like three packs on the go but I really love them and I'm wearing some at the moment from other packs. My little brother's also got some now that I found out about so he gave me one of his. His are Halloween so I got a little scary witch cat. That's cool. Right now I'm going to do the things I got on eBay. These are just some of the things I've been buying recently. Um, and I'll try and remember the prices as best as I can for you. Firstly, I got these America flag hot pants, which were brand new. They're from one of those like actual stores on eBay rather than just people selling their stuff. I think they were about three fifty, um, and I've already worn them loads of times. They're good for like going out with heels and stuff, but they look nice just through the daytime, like with tights and Converse and things. So I'm really pleased with them and I think that was a good price for like those knicker short type shorts because they're usually more expensive than that. I've got about five pairs of them now. Um, I also got this. It's originally meant to be a swimming costume. But I'm probably just going to wear it like as a body, maybe like under um, some high waisted shorts or under like my stretchy black skirt or something. But I thought it was cute. It has like a little... Scotty dog on the front and the Scotty dog is like made of velvety sort of material so I thought that was cute. That was really cheap I think it was like 99 pence and then £2 for postage or something like that. Something really good. 
Um, I also got this pink teddy. It's a uh, sort of vintage, you're not part of it vintage, but like maybe like 20 years old or something. Um, it's got this lovely lacy detail around the tops of the legs, if you can see there. And I just really liked it. I'm going to wear it like over thick black tights and I'll probably wear a little black vest top under it as well because you can see my bra through the top bit. But I really wanted a nice teddy to wear as a sort of um, play suit type thing because I watched this film Wild at Heart and the main girl in that wore them all the time like over tights and I thought it looked really good. I also got these pale denim jeggings. Sorry. They're um, paler than all the other ones, but I thought they'd be nice and summery. They're originally from Topshire. Um, and they have been worn, but they're still in really good condition. And I think, including the postage and packaging, they were about £3 or £3.50 altogether with the packaging. So that's good. I also got this dress which I wasn't sure about when I first saw it but now it's arrived and I've tried it on I really like it actually I didn't know if it would go with like my colouring and my hair colour and stuff I'll try and show you it it's like flowery and it's got these frilly bits on the chest and then it has these ties for going around the back to tie it back and um, it's the brand is called Ravi Famous and the woman who was selling it said about her daughter bought it from the clothes show in um, Birmingham. So that was also about £3 including the pain pay so that was really good. I haven't worn that yet but I'm going to take it away on my holidays in case we go out for like a nice meal or anything like that. Um, I've got one more thing to show you. I bought this on eBay as a present for my mum for Christmas. It's from an old-fashioned Tressie doll from in the 70s, which was when she was little, and she used to have these Tressie dolls. You get a comb brush, you get some little curlers for dolls, and some little mini Kirby grips for a doll, and then this booklet which has like pictures of how to do your doll's hair inside which I just thought was really cute um, so that's everything I've been buying recently um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to comment on the videos sorry that this one hasn't been as long but I'll do another one soon probably when I get back from my holidays with anything I've bought then bye